No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach. And to be fair, this video is going to be slightly different than what I usually upload. Most of my content is around social media marketing, Facebook advertising, getting results for clients, actually getting the clients and starting and or scaling your online social media marketing agency. And yes, this is still relevant to SMMA, uh, but I just want to touch upon mindset and uh, basically how you tackle starting an online business. So before you click away um, and think this is going to be some airy fairy, uh, write down your affirmations type of video, it's not going to be like that. Um, I just basically want to give my two cents on uh, a thing that I see a lot of aspiring entrepreneurs struggle with and something that I recognize as well because this is something that um, although I don't struggle with as much and never really have struggled with as much as I see other people struggle with, still something that I had to deal with and overcome when I started my journey. And what I see a lot of people doing wrong is they get caught up in all of the numbers and the details and they get caught up with not knowing what's going to happen in chapter 20 when they haven't even discovered chapter one just yet. And it's one of those things that you call it whatever you want, call it information overload, call it over analysis paralysis, call it dopamine overload, call it shiny object syndrome, whatever you wanna call it, it all comes down to the same thing. You are not taking action and taking that next step that you need to take to push the needle forward, to you know push the, the cart forward, to take action and get that first result. So with social media marketing, as I've mentioned in almost every single video, it basically consists of four pillars. I just wanna quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. And for those of you that are in Lifestyle Design Mastery 2.0, this is the reason why I started off with the blueprint it, like the, as the first module, because that basically explains exactly what you need to do at what step of you know building your agency. And I've noticed that a lot of people, they'll start or get this idea to start social media marketing. So it basically, it usually starts off with a desire to start an online business. They wanna break out of the nine to five, escape the corporate rat race, etc., and just start an online business. Regardless of the reason why, you know, you guys think of an online business as a way out and think, okay, that is what I need to do to reach my goals, whether that's financially uh, or, you know, just freedom in general, you know, it doesn't matter. You guys, think that an online business is the answer so you start the online business or you know you basically decide to start the online business and then you guys get distracted and the way i say you guys i don't i'm not accusing anyone of anything like i said this is something that i had to overcome myself but like i said as well this is something that i quickly discovered um, a way around and haven't really struggled with as much as uh, i see a lot of people do so what they do is they'll look at the social media marketing agency business model and then get so caught up in, okay, what if I actually do get a client? What results do I need to get? What happens if the return on ad spend plummets? What happens if the click-through rate? Guys, you haven't even got a client yet and you're thinking about all this stuff. And I don't, you know, I understand like the whole fake it till you make it and, you know, there's obviously a lot of uh, opinions divided about that. But the first and for, like, the most important thing you need to do is to do outreach and get that first client. All of the other aspects of the business, outsourcing, team building, scaling, Facebook ads, getting results, how to do the report and how to do the onboarding, will all come at a later date, okay? 
Yes, you need to understand all that, but that will come at a later point in the, you know, the agency business model. You first need to focus on getting a client, doing the outreach. And basically what you need to do is see the agency business model as a, like, almost like a blueprint, like a schematic process. And the reason why I feel that I am quite good at this is to be fair, it's got to do with my degree. I've got a degree in business and you guys know that I'm not a big fan of uh, basically, you know, the education system and, um, you know, most of you will know that I also, you know, dropped out or not necessarily dropped out, but I stopped after my bachelor's. I didn't go for my master's in business because I was no longer confident in that it would take me to reach my goals. But one thing that has always stuck by me and one thing that I am truly grateful for is to be able to think in processes. So almost a if this, then that type feature is like instilled into my brain. And I've just found, I've actually found a couple of books um, from my old uni degree and as you can see I'll probably uh, show you guys some photos because I don't think it will show you guys properly now because of the, the the focus but as you see there's a lot of like processes and drawings of what specific processes look like in business and this is literally all I do all day long is I map out certain processes and systems for my business I test it myself you know I'm literally like the guinea pig of all of this because I test this on my own business and say does this work is it optimal have I removed myself as a bottleneck from the business if if yes how much um, you no know, traction and traffic can it take before it starts to break and so on and so forth okay but because I have that skill or I've developed that skill I'm very easy in making decisions like what is the next step and I don't necessarily look at what happens you know five steps down because I'm still focused on step one and that is what you need to do for yourself okay you need to build out a almost a schematic approach to what you're going to do a warm up if you will and decide okay i want to start a social media marketing agency the first step for me is to pick a niche for example okay you know everyone's process will be different some people will say no i just want to uh, do mass outreach and i'll figure the rest out later some people say no i want to pick a niche first some people say no i want to first um you know get in contact with potential business owners and you know basically dip my toe into it and just see if that is something for me whatever it is that you do just make sure you know what the next step is to push the needle and just do it and the rest will you know fall into into place the rest will come when you get to that point okay and there's a i can't actually think of what video it was i think it was gerard adams leaders create leaders um series where there's a guy i think it was it might actually be Mac Como, and he was on the verge of landing a very very big client but he didn't actually have either the resources or the time to do it or he didn't have the expertise to do it and he said yes to the client he got the client and he figured the rest out later knowing that all i need to do is have that opportunity grasp that grasp that opportunity and then take action same goes for um again i can't remember the name but rob lipset's videographer he didn't have a camera all he had was a gopro when he started out and he got rob Lipset as a content creation client and then he bought all the uh, equipment that he needed later on he figured it out okay he, he literally locked himself in a room and studied how to create content with final cut pro or adobe premiere again regardless of what he was using one of those programs but the the, the moral of the story is don't get caught up in all the details don't get over analysis paralysis just focus on the first step and take that next step okay baby steps every step of the way okay and you know we all know that say you know if you improve one percent every single day for an entire year you know it is it's a cumulative and you know you will really really compound the uh, effect of that one percent that's consistently improving so that is what you need to do guys is just focus on the next step rather than you know getting caught up in all the details and that does not mean that like i said you know facebook ads is not important yes you do need to know how to get results for the client but you can't get results for the client if you haven't actually got the clients in the first place so focus 
on the very first pillar of social media marketing, which is outreach. And with that said, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you have any tips for those that are just starting out on how to overcome over analysis paralysis or whatever you wanna call it, how to take that first step, how to push the cart, how to push the needle in the right direction so that you can overcome that sort of procrastination phase and just take action. For those of you that wanna work alongside me and basically want my help to build out their agency, I also have a online course and coaching program. It's basically like a hybrid done for you slash group coaching uh, program. It will all be linked in the description box down below. You will need to apply for it um, to see if we're the right fit or not because obviously, you know, it is me personally helping you and I only want to work with action takers and those that I have that connection with and I feel like, you know, okay, we can actually build something great here. So like I said, that'll be all linked in the description box down below. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you all in the next video.